Hello my dear little bugs, welcome back to my channel yet again. So if you're preparing for boards, if you're preparing for NEET, you want to understand what is DNA, what is RNA, please watch this part 1 video of what is the difference between DNA versus RNA. So DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid, a nucleic acid which is going to store the genetic information okay, in the cell, in the organism whatsoever. DNA is nothing but the genetic material which stores the information and the full form of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, So RNA is ribonucleic acid which works as messenger, helper, regulator and much more. So in molecules like ribose, okay which is present in rna deoxyribose in dna the carbon atoms are actually numbered with the prime symbols one prime two prime three prime etc that is to distinguish them from the atoms present in the nitrogenous basis okay so when you speak about deoxyribonucleic acid that is dna okay so the sugar present in the dna is deoxyribose deoxyribose is the name suggest deoxy means without oxygen okay so the second prime carbon is actually bonded to the hydrogen atom instead of hydroxyl group so which makes the dna which is kind of like more chemically stable okay ideal for long-term storage of the genetic information uh, meanwhile we have a ribonucleic acid that is nothing but the rna okay so this particular rna is actually having the sugar that is a ribo sugar okay so in the second prime carbon atom they have hydroxyl group right OH group so which makes the RNA more reactive less stable okay which enables the RNA to perform certain catalytic regulatory functions also but it's unstable for the long-term storage okay so what are the bases present in the DNA as well as the RNA so DNA contains ATGC that is nothing but A4 adenine, T4 thymine, G4 guanine, C4 cytosin in RNA meanwhile instead of thymine they will be having uracil okay so AUGC adenine uracil cytosine and guanine okay so as we have already discussed DNA is more stable it is less reactive because it doesn't have any hydroxyl group in the second prime carbon atom it prevents the self cleavage or the hydrolysis okay so the double helix structure is going to protect the nitrogenous basis from the damage okay so it's ideal for long-term storage of the genetic information meanwhile the RNA which has the hydroxyl group makes RNA more chemically reactive okay so it's more prone to hydrolysis especially under the alkaline condition okay so it's typically short-lived in the cell so in the next upcoming video we'll understand the types of DNA and types of RNA thank you